A girl was happily cycling on the street. Suddenly, there was a man in a hoodie rushing over to push her down. Seeing that, the girl was extremely scared and hastily ran away. But that man was still determined to chase after her. The people on the street couldn't stop him either. The girl was cornered. She then fell down on the road. In her panic, she felt as if she knew this man. However, at this moment, the man was holding a sharp object and was continuously stabbing her. Therefore, the girl died on the spot. At this time, Chloe and the police chased to the scene. Dan held up a photo of the killer that was taken by passersby. But when Lucifer saw the sword in the killer's hand, his expression immediately changed. After that, he turned to leave while everyone didn't understand what was going on. Lucifer led Aminadiel and Mazakin to Uriel's grave. Indeed, Uriel's grave was dug up by someone. Although his body was still there, the sword of death that he brought to earth was stolen. The weapon in the hands of that killer was Uriel's sword. Mazakin didn't know how powerful this sword was. Until Lucifer had to explain to her how dangerous it was. It could control mortals and increase the level of violence inside them thousands of times. For example, when he went to the toilet and didn't wash his hands, others just didn't like it. However, if someone held the sword of death in their hand, their distaste for him would increase a thousandfold. And then that person would rush to stab him to death. At this time, everyone also understood if they didn't quickly get back the sword. It would bring great tragedy to the world. After that, they took Uriel's body away. Lucifer alone went to find a forensic expert named Ella, and asked her to examine the scene. Ella discovered a pile of ashes, and found a piece of paper that hadn't been burned yet. After checking with professional equipment, they discovered that what was destroyed was a map. The path shown on the map was the way from the city center to Uriel's tomb. And there was even a logo on this map. It was the logo of the office that Lucifer's mother was managing. Seeing this, Lucifer immediately went there to question his mother. He criticized her for drawing a map showing the way to Uriel's grave, which caused the sword of death to be stolen. His mother also admitted that she drew the map and also thanked that someone finally found the sword. Hearing that, Lucifer really didn't understand what she was thinking. She said she did it just because she wanted his father to notice her and take responsibility for Uriel's death. Lucifer couldn't accept her reason. He forced her to cooperate with him in order to find the sword of, or else he would send her to hell. After that, he brought the clue he got from his mother, and went with Chloe to a yoga studio. When they just reached the door, they saw a red handprint. They quickly pushed open the door to enter, and found a man lying on the ground. Lucifer suspected this man had stolen the sword of death. But after that, Lucifer continued to go inside, and saw a more terrifying sight. There were countless corpses lying on the floor. The yoga studio was a place for people to improve their health. But at this moment, there were six corpses here. The police also didn't find a weapon at the scene. Only Lucifer knew it was definitely caused by the sword of death. This sword controlled the consciousness of mortals, and created a bloody slaughter. After that, Chloe looked at a photo of a man named James. James was the instructor of the afternoon yoga class. However, he wasn't present at the scene. James explained that in the afternoon he didn't go to school, but slept at home. But Lucifer didn't believe him. He used his power to force him to tell the truth. It turned out that because of the irregular eating habits, this trainer named James had a beer belly. He was afraid that if the students found out, he would be fired. So he didn't teach for a few days. So they lost the clue again. When Lucifer was at an impasse, Chloe brought important information. Because James didn't teach, the coach named Linda took his place. However, at this time, Linda was missing. Chloe had issued an arrest warrant for the whole city. Lucifer thought if Linda was the one who held the sword of death, the sword would definitely make her kill James. So Lucifer immediately went to James' house, but it was too late. James was killed by Linda. Linda expressed extreme regret. She didn't want to kill James, but she couldn't control her body at all. After that, Chloe entered and wanted to take Linda away. However, only Lucifer knew this wasn't her fault. So he said that James attacked Linda first. And Linda was just defending herself. He turned to look at James' body. But the sword of death on the body had suddenly disappeared. He hurriedly looked around. After that, he saw Dan holding that sword and going towards the pool. And Dan seemed extremely angry. So Lucifer went over and reassured him with soft words. However, Dan angrily criticized him, and even pointed his sword at him. The reason why Dan hated him was very simple. Just for a box of pudding. I know you ate my pudding Dan said. Are you really going to kill me for a box of pudding? Lucifer was surprised. That's right. But I didn't know it was yours. There is a label on it Dan continued to say. In a dangerous situation, Dan tried to use his will to resist the sword. Taking that opportunity, Lucifer quickly snatched the sword back. Dan was no longer controlled by the sword, his consciousness returned to normal. And the two of them continued to be good friends. 
At this moment, Lucifer's mother leisurely stepped out of the elevator. When seeing the sword of death in Lucifer's hand, she showed an annoyed expression. Why did you get the sword back? Los Angeles hasn't been destroyed by it yet. Hearing that, Lucifer was extremely displeased. His mother wanted to give the sword to mortals. Her selfish actions caused many people to die. At this point, his mother revealed her true purpose. She wanted to lure God to Earth, and then used Uriel's death to force him. And their whole family would return home together. Perhaps for you, you think it is home, said Lucifer. But for me, it is hell, not home and heaven is just hell. This is the only place where I feel free and respected. This place? Do you want to live with humans? His mother was angry. Yes, this is my home, Lucifer said. Let's face reality, mom. At this moment, the sword of death in Lucifer's hand flashed a spark. His mother seemed to think of something. She then left this place with Aminadiel. A few days later, she thought the reason Lucifer wouldn't follow her was because he opened a bar. Not long after, she bailed a bomb-making expert out of the police station. She wanted to blow up the bar herself. However, the day before, she saw Lucifer and Chloe having intimate actions with each other. She seemed to have understood the real reason why he didn't want to leave. She then went to Dan and asked about the relationship between Lucifer and Chloe. Suddenly she became close to Dan. Unexpectedly, Aminadiel and Mazakine followed her so they had seen this. They were excited as if they had just opened a new world. Early the next morning, Lucifer's mother asked the bomb maker to convert large bombs into small ones. She decided to change the target. At the moment, Lucifer was talking to the psychiatrist Linda. Linda also completely understood Lucifer's feelings. Lucifer said there was an unspeakable feeling in his heart for Chloe. And he was so confused when Chloe asked him out for dinner this night. He was feeling a bit stressed. At this point, Linda easily knew Lucifer's feelings. She said confidently. He had human-like feelings. At this time, Chloe was sitting in the restaurant and waiting for Lucifer to arrive. However, she still hadn't seen Lucifer appear. So Chloe got up and prepared to leave. But unexpectedly, there was a bomb under her car. Meanwhile, Lucifer's mother was standing in the distance and preparing to activate the bomb. Suddenly Aminadiel appeared behind her. He was planning to use violence to prevent her from harming Chloe. However, she still didn't give up her intention. But when Aminadiel said the next sentence that made her hesitate, don't forget that because Uriel was planning to harm Chloe, Lucifer killed him. Hearing that, she had to give up the idea of bombing to kill Chloe. She wanted to use a more secret method to cut off Lucifer's feelings for Chloe.